Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Bad boys, 1995. It is an action-packed comedy directed by Michael Bay. This movie starred Will Smith as Detective Michael Lowry and Martin Lawrence as Detective Marcus Burnett, two of Miami's narcotics officers. Imagine this movie as you would a Scooby-Doo type group, but it's set in Miami, there's drugs and killing involved and no talking dog. The entire plot of the movie revolves around the efforts to recover $100 million worth of heroin. Yummy. That was stolen from the police is Priesting's evidence locker. Don't you move. Hey, I'm not understand. I, I really don't. Shut up! I mean, do you just attract violent people? Fuck up. Which is kind of funny to think about it. There is literally a post today. It is the 31st of May. Uh, like $300 million worth of like fentanyl or coke or something was seized. So, you know, it was just a lot in 1995, apparently. Now, before we get into the whole story of the movie, just a quick word from this video's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Sticker Mule, and I wanted to share it with you because not only can you get $10 credit on the down low, but this is where I get all of my custom stickers, my labels, my magnets, and even the buttons. Okay, I'm just kidding. I actually don't eat any I don't order any buttons ever, but if I went for sticker products or labels, this would be my go-to. The link is in the description below. The stickers are perfect for jazzing up your laptops or even water bottles, and that one spot on the fridge that looks a little bit lonely. They're also so durable. They might even outlast your gym membership, you fat, fat little turd. If you're into labels, Sticker Mule has got you covered. You can label anything from jars, files, and even your dog. Though I'd probably just stick to the jars and files. And those with children rejoice because now your fridge doesn't have to be a sticky mess. Instead, you can place magnets on your fridge. Now your kids can have some entertainment while you're cooking good looking. Sticker Mule also has so much more. Wall graphics, floor graphics, even custom coasters. Why not make your floors and your drinks look as cool as your stickers? Exactly, why not? So if you're looking to add some fun and flair, check out Sticker Mule. Link in the description below. I promise you, they stick to quality and you'll stick with them. Remember, if it's not Sticker Mule, it's just sticky tape. Sticker Mule, where everything sticks but nothing sucks. Check them out, you won't regret it. Okay, the story begins with a heist, which puts the entire department under pressure, especially Laura and Burnett, who are given 72 hours to solve the case and retrieve the drugs. Now give me a motherfucking handy wipe. I don't want to say one of those jokes, bitch. And putting a timeline like this does seem a little suspicious, don't you think? Uh, you might want to start pointing fingers at that person. Their only lead in this sticky situation, sorry, I just imagine like heroin being sticky for some reason, like black tar heroin, I don't know, getting stuck in between your fingers. Anyways, the only person who saw what was going on was a witness named Julia Mott, who saw the thieves commit a murder. To protect her, and gain her cooperation, Mike and Marcus must switch identities due to Julie not only trusting Mike, but especially not someone she's never met before. This Freaky Friday situation leads to a series of comedic and action-packed situations as the two detectives struggle to maintain the facade while chasing down the culprits. And this is what I'm talking about. When you write a good movie, you want some seriousness, like murder and heroin and all the drugs, but you also want to throw in a, a goofy little Honey, I Shrunk the Kids moment. As they dig deeper, they uncover a complex web of corruption and betrayal involving the French drug Pin Fautiche. I don't know how to say his name. I'm not gonna try it again. The movie is great. It features a bunch of explosive action sequences, witty banter, and the strong chemistry between Smith and Lawrence, which ultimately become a hallmark of the series. In the same kind of vein as this movie, it's The Bad Boys, Rush Hour, Awesome Powers, go-to 90s, early 2000s movies. Ultimately, Mike and Marcus manage to outsmart the criminals, protect Julie, and recover the stolen heroin, reaffirming their partnership and their friendship. Bad Boys was an absolute box office success and established Michael Bay as a prominent director in the action genre, also cementing Will Smith and Martin Lawrence as leading actors in Hollywood. Let me know what you think of Bad Boys. Do you remember watching when you shouldn't have? If not the right age or something? I'm gonna give this movie a seven out of 10 and you should go watch a video I did about Atlas, has Will Smith as well. I could not keep a straight face, I promise you, because this video is over.